Good morning and welcome to another vlog. Yes. We are back at Alton Towers. Yes, we are, but this time at Abraham. But me and Daddy are walking and Abraham's going on the sky ride. And That's we're right. Well, let's, let's, let's give everybody a bit of context. Yes. So basically, we're here at Alton Towers. Um, we're here with one of Callum's school friends as well. Yeah, it, it's Abraham. Uh, yeah, but they've all decided to go on the sky ride to get up to uh, near Nemesis, etc. Um, but Callum decided he wanted to walk and I thought, yeah, I like the walk, so that's what we're doing. So, um, yeah, Callum has been on Spinball Wizard and 13 this morning. Yeah, was, was 13 good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was your favourite bit about it? The, dro the drop bit and the way it goes backwards. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he really enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, Spinball Wizard again was really good. Oh. Grumpy Nana! <laughs> That's Grumpy, <laughs> Grumpy Nana, is it? We'll have to tell them that when we get back. <laughs> so yeah, basically I'm going to be having a look at the Scarefest updates because we have the full lineup announced by Alton Towers of what they're going to be doing. So yeah, I'm going to have a look around, have a look at some mazes, see what's going on and yeah, see what we can expect from this year's event. So yeah, I've already, I've already had a quick look around the park and there is plenty going on, so yeah. it's going to be a good vlog. There's going to be lots in it. Yes, so where, where are we heading now? Uh, to... Jewel. I don't know, <laughs> no, we're going to go on Jewel first. I don't know. Going to go on Jewel first, and then run away mine train. So there's all new barriers up in Mutiny Bay, and uh, I'm assuming this is getting ready for Oktoberfest. They're also heavily... Uh, yeah, sort of like making people do the one-way systems. Um, so if you're walking up by Jewel and that, there's only a certain way you can go. You can go up by Gloomy Wood, I believe, but you can't go back sort of from Jewel to uh, Runaway Mine Train. You can't walk that way. You have to walk from Runaway Mine Train to Jewel. But yeah, it's, uh, it's different. They're, uh, yeah, they've got security and stuff in as well. It doesn't seem as busy today in like the the grown-up side of things, but CBBS is absolutely heaving. But yeah, this is uh, I'm guessing this is what Oktoberfest and Scarefest are going to look like. Just barriers everywhere, one-way systems, which isn't a bad thing, I suppose. It would just take a bit of getting used to. So there's additional seating being put out, sort of on the main lawns. Um, there's also sort of like food stands and stuff down by the lake. There's more separation borders. People are clearly just not listening to it though. Um, so yeah, it's uh, yeah. This is what I'm imagining they're going to sort of stretch out along the whole part. You can see the uh, the food stands and that just down there. Plenty of seating. There might even be more being put out before Oktoberfest starts. But yeah. Should be a nice little event. We will be here for Oktoberfest because um, that is around my birthday. So we'll be making a, an overnight stay trip for that. But yeah, excited. So we can see some theming pieces around the back of the brand new scare maze. For this, <laughs> Callum's getting involved. So uh, yeah, excited. They're reusing a lot of the set pieces from the walkthrough. That is where they're storing a lot of the set pieces for Scarefest. So yeah, I'm excited to see they're doing something different, fresh, bringing back another clown maze, which has been missing for quite a few years. So there's the front of the Scare Maze. They're using the older subspecies containers, boarding up some of the holes. I don't know if we'll be able to see anything inside it. But uh, we've got some barriers up down the side here, so you can't really get down there. But we might be able to have a little sneaky peek. If we can see anything. Uh, we can just see, I'm guessing, this is either going to be the entrance or the exit. I'm assuming, but yeah. It's exciting. New maze. So as we come around the back of the one of the new scare mazes for this year, we can see some old set pieces that were used recently in the walkthrough that was in between Spinball Wizard and X Sector. 
So yeah, it looks like it's uh, going to be another interesting one. Can't really see a lot through this scrim, but yeah, I wonder what I wonder why they're stacking them double high. Whether it's going to be upstairs or not, but we will see. Interesting, interesting. We are going to be back for Oktoberfest, so I'll have another look at uh, what's going on there when we come back. But yeah, I've got high hopes for this maze. Should be a good one. Oh, can we see anything through here? Not really. A bit of barbed wire, that's about it. So it looks like the parks are um, borrowing stuff from each other. So down by the side of the towers is where they're putting together Darkest Depths. I'm not sure why it's going down here and it's not down in Mutiny Bay where it was previous. But uh, yeah, it's, um, I don't know if it'd be a different route. I'd imagine it could be slightly different because it goes through, goes through the walkway bit through there, which is where the zombie maze used to be way back when. But uh, yeah, it's, I'm excited. So it's going to be a lot longer than what it is, than what it was in Mutiny Bay where it sort of wraps around. But yeah, it should be good. It was a heavily themed maze last year, so I'm guessing it'll be the same, uh, the same standard. But we can't really see a lot. It's, uh, they've blocked it off quite well. But that's exciting. A nice different location which will, you know, change up the the path of it will uh, make it feel like a brand new maze again. Happy days. So up by the exit of Hex, they uh, have stopped people coming out from up there. So they have to walk through the uh, conservatory, I'm gonna call it, and uh, out this way. Don't know why. Must be some reason for it. So I'm assuming this will be the, e the entrance for the attic again, because that has been confirmed, but uh, we can't really see a lot because they've just got these uh, big sheets up. But yeah. I wasn't a huge fan of the attic last time, was you, Lou? No. No. I thought it was okay, but it wasn't. Yeah, the, the set pieces were nice, but um, yeah, it just didn't really, the actors weren't really on point for me. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens this year. Still more boarding at the top, but you can't see anything. It's all covered up. It looks like fresh boarding in that window, actually. So, yeah, exciting times. So they've got all the lights installed to the front of the towers. Looks like another good light package for the towers this year. There's lots of blues and greens and stuff. So they've all got some on now, actually. So yeah, I always like how these are lit up at night. It's always a good, uh, good package. I think they will have a uh, the projector in the uh, the screen up here again with the dancing skeletons or something of the like. Yeah. Beautiful. So we're having a wander over to the entrance of Altonville Mine Tours. Which, yeah, I love the entrance to this. Because it's the part of the towers that you don't normally see. No. I mean, I'm not expecting a lot to be happening up here. It doesn't take a lot of getting together. But no, they've not done anything yet. Sort of all they do is normally put some posts up down there with some lights on. But uh, yeah, it's well overgrown down there though, compared to what it normally is. But I'm assuming this will be the entrance, unless actually now that Subspecies isn't there, they could put the entrance up by where Subspecies was at the towers. That's always an option. They probably might actually do that because then you can 
socially distance people a lot easier instead of having them down this path. So that's actually what I think they will do. As we can see, there's plenty going on for the Scarefest construction. Um, you know, there's a lot. There's going to be lots of new things happening. It's going to be a completely different experience this year to what we're used to, which is never a bad thing. We're going to learn a lot of things. Some things will be good. Some things we'll wish that weren't there because of COVID. But yeah, I think it's going to be a good event. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. And I strongly recommend people come check it out, support the park, and they're doing everything they can possibly do to keep everybody safe. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.